Really good to see you again. Where are we today? Today we're in Morden and we're doing something a little bit different. We're going somewhere where I haven't been for 10, 15 years. We're going to a harvester. What's it called? It's called the George. I haven't got a Scooby-Doo what I'm going to order. So I'm going to take a look at the menu and see what I'm going to have. As always, let's give it a go. Okay, the last time I was in Harvester, they actually had this salad bar where you can go up and help yourself to unlimited salad. And they've still got it all these years later. Okay, just taking a look through the menu. They've got a range of small plates on the char grill. Char grill. Fancy something different. The rostery combos and ribs, burgers on the side, loads of desserts there. Me, I'm going to go for their mixed grill, which is a quarter rostery chicken, four ounce rump steak. Now I've ordered that medium rare half a gammon steak, a pork sausage, flat mushroom. I've actually left the flat mushroom on there because I want you to see exactly what it all comes with. Uh, fried free range egg, black pudding, chips, uh, garden peas, tomato and onion rings. Quite an extensive uh, range there. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that. How much is that? That's £19.49. For that kind of quantity, that's not over the top. Okay, I'll see you when the meal arrives. Okay, so I went up earlier onto the salad bar. They've got a nice range there, it's nothing too extensive. But anyhow, I got myself some um, lettuce, cucumber, uh, sweet corn, potato salad, coleslaw, some carrots in there as well. I covered it in mayonnaise and a tomato. We get bread rolls, the whole thing. As I said, it's not the most extensive range, but you guys have probably been to the harvest. Carry again. You guys have probably been to the harvester and you know what it's all about. Uh, I'll put some mayonnaise on there, but they have sort of um, other sauces that you can put on there other than mayonnaise. You can even put brown sauce if it tickles your boat, but I can't really understand what brown sauce would actually do on, on a salad. I'm just taking a look at the menu again here. If you have the free unlimited salad, uh, you can go up there as many times as you want. So if you only just want to come in here for salad, you can. £6.99. So you sort of take that off the price of the, the meal, then obviously that drops it down considerably. Okay, see you when the meal arrives. Okay, so the meal's arrived. Uh, if you take a look, there's some black pudding there. That's got to be the smallest piece of black pudding I've ever seen. Uh, you've got your sausage, you've got your chicken, egg, your rump steak, your half a gammon, uh, half a tomato, your peas, your fries, um, your chips, and uh, your mushrooms. Uh, well, them bad boys have got to go for a starter. She thought it came with a flat mushroom, but I'm definitely not complaining because I don't like mushrooms, do I? So let's put them over there. Okay, presentation-wise, it, it looks quite nice. Uh, Portion-wise, it does look a little bit small. And again, just take a close-up on that piece of chicken. That is a small, I mean, the sausage is nearly bigger than the actual piece of chicken there. And again, four ounce rump steak, so Okay, let's tuck in. Okay, just gonna move the chips. Let's have a look at the egg, see how the egg's cooked. Yeah. It says free orange egg. Nice color to the yolk there. Hmm. It's a nice egg. Now, it's rump steak, it's medium rare. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I think that's come up more medium than medium rare. Nice, nice charring effect on top. Let's take a closer look up on that. I'll say they come up medium. I actually think that's more medium to well done, to be honest. But yeah, let's see what it tastes like. Mm. I'm gonna have to try another piece of that. Quite literally, it's a little bit gristly. That looks a lot better. Mm. It's definitely medium to well done. Steak actually is quite tough. It's also a little bit dry as well. But anyhow, onwards and upwards. Let's take a look at the gammon. I do like my gammon. It's cut very nicely. You can see it's got nice griddly marks on it as well. Let's see what it tastes like. Hmm. Got to say that's it's a little bit tough as well. It's incredibly salty. Okay, onwards and upwards. Let's have a look at the chicken. As I said earlier on, it's a very, very small piece of chicken. Let's cut into it. Mm. Highly recommend the chicken. It's a nice piece of chicken. Now the sausage. Now, yeah. kind of running theme here. A little bit overdone, a little bit overdone. Uh, definitely overdone. Overdone. I'm struggling with that. That's not a particularly quality sausage either. But um, you can see it is completely overdone. Let's try the black pudding. Now that has got to be one of the smallest pieces of black pudding I've ever seen. It's actually cold. Um, everything else on the plate is nice and um, nice and hot. That's actually cold. Now try one of these onion rings. <laughs> Again, you can see these are they well, they're cremated, aren't they? I'm really sorry, but <clears throat> I can't eat the rest of that because I won't have any teeth left. That is um, very, um, very well done. It's onto the peas. You know what I'm going to say. They're well done. No, 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 no. Peas are peas. Let's see the tomato. Actually, nice juicy tomato there. Hmm. Tomato's absolutely fine now. Yeah portion of the chips. Let's put some of them on the plate. Let's season them. Mm. Yeah. They're not the best chips I've ever had. Again. Some of these are, are actually very dry. I'm a little bit disappointed here. The egg, I think, is excellent. No issues there. I think the chicken itself has got a real nice flavour to it. But as you look at the, the sausage there, that's cremated. Uh, my steak is com completely overdone. They're not edible. And the gammon itself is, um, is very dry and very salty. And very well done. Okay, 
I'm going to plough on here. Um, sorry, the, I've got to actually finish on this. Can you just take a close up on the, the mushrooms? Because even though I don't like mushrooms, you can see again, they're very, very dry. Okay, wish me luck. Okay, I'm plowing my way through the meal. Now I know loads of you are going to turn around and say, well, if you're not happy, you should send it back. If I wasn't doing a review, certainly I would send it back. There's no way I can carry on eating that steak. Um, it's very um, tough. The onion rings are not edible. I'm struggling completely with the, the gammon and that black pudding is just a no-go. I've saved the best until last, which is the chicken. I really dislike um, wasting and leaving food, but guys, I actually can't do it this time. Um, with the rump steak itself, I'm not silly. I, I know rump steak comes up sometimes and it can be a little bit sinewy and a little bit tough, but it's tough and it's tough. And as for these guys, if I threw that at someone, it'd be classed as a lethal weapon. Trust me, look at the, the cameraman there. He's laughing. Okay, so I've just paid the bill. Um, I'm actually going to do my final review outside. A few bits, really. One, the music here is driving me mad. Cause it's all Christmas songs, Christmas songs non-stop, and it is quite loud. Uh, number two, I've got to reflect on sort of what kind of mark I'm going to give it. And number three, I've got to decide where I'm going to go to have something to eat afterwards, because I'm still hungry. Okay, see you outside. Okay, so we come outside. I want to start with the bar area. Nice bar there. Uh, staff, very friendly, very nice. Standards were okay, no problems with the standards. The meal itself, well, I'm not gonna go through the whole thing. You've seen it yourself. I, I came in here, I haven't been here for 15 years and I was kind of like, yeah, let's get in here and let's have a look. I was quite excited seeing the salad bar there and the salad was nice and fresh and there's nothing wrong with the salad. However, so many things were wrong on that plate. I don't know where to start. I, I don't wanna go through it all again. In fact, I don't wanna even talk about it. That's how bad it was. Um, the chicken was quite nice. That's kind of like borderline it. Now on our channel, we go to a variety of restaurants. We go to family run places, we go to celebrity places, expensive, cheap. But there is a real running theme here because these chain uh, restaurants, there is a massive lack of care, lack of attention and what they're, they're churning out. I'm not convinced that there's any thought goes into it. It's like, well, just chuck it out on the plate and yeah, they'll be happy with it. So onto the bill. The bill was £19.49, there's no service charge on there. Now, what can I say? That was possibly one of the worst meals I've ever had, anywhere, ever, ever. Now, I might have chosen a bad moment and you know, I'm, I'm not trying to put you off going to the harvester, but I can only give it my worst ever mark ever. And that is a two out of 10. And that, and that is so disappointing. And I genuinely am disappointed because I came here and I was really excited. So that's not very really nice actually, coming up to the Christmas period. And I feel very sorry for sort of giving it the lowest mark. Now, I'd imagine the comment section is going to light up and people are going to be saying various bits and pieces. And I, I'd, I'd love to hear what you think. You know, am I being too harsh? Am I, am I, I don't know. Am I being too harsh? I don't think I am. In fact, I, I borderline think I'm being quite generous because that wasn't right. If you can like and subscribe to our channel, you know I always, always appreciate that. Until next time, let's go and get something to eat somewhere else. Bye-bye.